back, everybody. On today's installment of Five Minute Tones, I want to recreate the guitar sound that I use for my White Snake 1987 Five Killer Riffs video. If you guys haven't seen that one, I will link it in the video description. A lot of people asked what I use for the guitar sound there, and it's pretty straightforward. I'm using the Axe FX3 and I'm using a Les Paul, and that's basically it. I didn't do any post processing on the guitars in that one, which I was super stoked about. So, this has some Martin A. Smith humbuckers in it. They're essentially PAF style pickups. They sound amazing. And it's going straight into the Axe FX3 where I'm using the USA lead mid gain model, which is a Mesa Mark IV model. And I am using a cab IR that I made of a Marshall cab with some Celestium Vintage 30s. This one's up on the Fractal Axe Change website if you go there. And I just set the low cut to 80 hertz there. So this is what it sounds like at the stock settings. <laughs> we got to do some work. So the first thing I would do is turn the overdrive all the way up. I would set the input drive to be about six. And we're going to do some EQ. If you haven't seen my videos talking about the Mesa Mark series and how to dial them in, basically turn the bass and the mids down with these EQ controls because they are pre-gain. They're basically going to give us the gain shape going in that we like. I like to turn the presence control down to about one on these apps. And I also like to decrease the master volume to about two and a half. 2.6, whatever. We I still need more gain and we still need to shape everything post gain with the output EQ. So what I did was I set the input trim to two and I used the output EQ to basically shape everything. So I like a kind of V curve with this. I like to boost 80 Hertz, cut the middle two bands here and boost a bit of 2200. We get this, it sounds a lot closer now. All right, a few more little tweaks. I like to set the input EQ low cut a little bit higher than stock just to tidy everything up. We get this. And a really, really essential thing with these Mark series amps is to go to the ideal tab and turn the fat switch on. That's killer. The other thing that I did because I wanted this to be so over the top was use an input boost. I went to the preamp tab and I set the boost type to be the CC boost. And this is what really puts the icing on the cake. <laughs> The last little tweak that I made is in the speaker section, I set the speaker impedance curve to this 4x12 Repto straight. It changes things very subtly, but it really gives me that kind of girthy feel that I'm after for this sort of stuff. <laughs> I'm discombobulating, I'm forgetting how to play all these songs. The last little tweak I might add is a uh, big reverb on there. You can try the medium hall is always a good place to start. You get this. <laughs> Or the London plate is another nice one. I like to kind of turn the time down on the London plate. Otherwise, at stock settings, this is actually what I use on the recording. <laughs> Beautiful. 
beautiful stuff. Uh, if you wanted to do some of the Sykes lead stuff, just add a big stereo delay to all of this. I'm quite fond of the stereo BBD, or you could use a pitch block and add some detune in there as well for that kind of sauce from the 80s. Let's set it to be a dotted eighth note. Uh, turn the mix up a little bit and maybe set the left right time ratio to 75%. If we're going to do that, let's set the tempo to be a quarter note. Then you get this. <laughs> Whatever John does on that one. Nevertheless, this is very close to my ideal sort of rock tone. I would probably dial the gain down a little bit, but for the White Snake stuff, it seemed super appropriate to just be super over the top. So you can add a bit of pitch detune, you can add a reverb to taste, but uh, this is basically all I did for that. I didn't have to do any post EQ. It sat really nice with the drums and the bass, and it felt amazing to play, which is the most important thing aside from sounding great, of course. So there you go. Thanks for watching this installment of 5 Minute Tones. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully you'll have fun dialing in this on your Axe FX3. I'll see you next time.